Phantoms fans and hockey fans, welcome to another episode of Mr. and Mr. Phantoms Edition. This week, William, who do we have on the show? Uh, we have this year's backup goaltender, Mr. Ryan Bainborough, who's looking at me funny that I've called him the backup. Uh, and we've got, taking time out from his so solid crew, uh, is Romeo Dunn, Taylor Romeo. Right then, boys, welcome to the show. Um, Ryan, how are you feeling about this one? Uh, not very confident. I don't know the bloke. Good start. Romeo, what about yourself? I feel too great. I feel like you're going to stitch me up or something. <laughs> we'll never do that to you, Romeo. Never, never do it to the young gun. Never do it to the young gun. So, just to go over the rules again, um, Ryan is going to be guessing Taylor's answers. We'll ask five questions, one point for each correct answer. And then Taylor is going to guess Ryan's answers in the second round. Again, one point for each correct answer for a total of hopefully 10 points. But going by their um, confidence. Um, Be lucky to get one. Yes. So, question number one. Ryan, what is Romeo Dunn's favourite computer game? No hesitation here from Romeo Dunn. Do you still play computer games, Ryan? Uh, no, mate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, answer locked in here? Yeah, answer locked in here. Okay, um, if you'd like to reveal your answer, Ryan. Fortnite. Wow, this is a hot start. <laughs> yeah, one point for you boys. Well done, Can boys. Can you give us a dance from Fortnite, please, Romeo? Yeah, I don't remember. No? Yeah. Mm, Better practice them in the mirror. <laughs> okay, we'll move on to question number two. Ryan, who did Romeo Dunn select with his first pick in this year's fantasy hockey draft just so everybody knows fantasy hockey in um, the phantoms dressing room is took very 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 seriously um it's very tight this year isn't it william it is there's been uh, a few gms that you know probably would want a better start and i think we've got a couple potentially sat sat with us and Ryan's laughing knowing that probably he's the main culprit yeah sometimes you've just got to get the boys in the dressing room put them on two week notice and let them know what they're doing isn't good enough so answers locked in here um, Ryan who do you go with absolute guess but I'm going with Crosby close but no cigar Malcolm <laughs> really close really <laughs> really close okay we'll move on to question number three Ryan if Romeo had done was stranded on a desert island. What one item would he take with him? Think it through here, Romeo. I don't know why you're looking at me. I'm not going to give you the answer. <laughs> okay, an answer locked in, yeah. No, <laughs> Answers <laughs> locked in here as well. Ryan, what's your answer? Uh, snooze. Oh, I don't know that we can say that. Can we say that? Yeah, we can say that. Uh, what is your answer, Romeo? On my phone. What about the uh, power for the phone? On a desert island. I'll just use the battery to get off it first. Tell them, tell them I'm stranded so they can come get me. That's not how it works, but okay. <laughs> okay, so currently still stuck on one point. Hopefully you will move on to a second point, maybe with this next question. It's a little bit easier. Ryan, what is... Romeo Dunn's favourite ice rink to play in. Ryan's locked in his answer. Romeo Dunn had to think about this one, but he's now locked his answer in. Okay, Ryan, if you'd like to reveal your answer. I'm going to say Milton Keynes. <laughs> Blasphemy. Blasphemy. Excuse me. Do um, not say that around here. Romeo, please uh, reveal. <laughs> That's the only answer that it could be. So, Ryan, I'm disappointed in you. Yeah. Okay, we'll move on to question number five, our final question. 50-50 chance on this one, as Robbo would say. Is Romeo Dunn a boob or a bum man? Ryan's gone straight in here. Got an answer locked in from Romeo. It's locked in just here. Reveal your answer. I'm going to go with bum. Correct. <laughs> but with a smile on his face <laughs> there, he was like, correct. <laughs> okay, so Romeo done. 
and Ryan, you're currently on two points. How do you feel that went, Ryan? Uh, yeah, it went all right. It probably could have gone a bit better, but yeah, we've done all right. Going on the age difference, two points isn't too bad there. I'm not that old, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Romeo is uh, one of the youngest members of the team, Ryan. I think that's what Thomas was trying to, trying to get at. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so Ryan and Romeo Dunn, currently on two points. We're going to move on to the next round. So, um, Romeo Dunn, you're going to guess Ryan's answers. So, we'll start off with Romeo Dunn. What is Ryan's favourite computer game? Ryan's already told us he doesn't play many computer games anymore, but... Might have to think back to the Sega Mega Drive. The Dreamcast. Romeo Dunn just looked at me like, what is a Sega Mega Drive? <laughs> and oh, it's, a, it's, a classic, it's a classic by Ryan. I think we'll, we'll all agree. Well, me and you will. Well, so Romeo Dunn will probably be like, what? Romeo, please reveal your answer. Call of Duty. It's gone with Call of Duty. I went with FIFA. <laughs> Road to the World Cup. No, was that, that was FIFA 98, oh. Road to World Cup, one of the greatest uh, FIFAs of all time. Indoor arenas, five a side, uh, and you could actually take out the goalkeeper, oh. believe it or not, yeah. Classic, absolute classic. Okay, we're moving on to question number two. Romeo Dunn, who did Ryan take with his first pick overall in this year's fantasy draft? I don't think Ryan can quite remember who he took. The team's that bad, you probably look at it and think, who did he take first overall? <laughs> nah, he's got it. No, maybe he's not. Okay, answer's locked in here. <laughs> We're going to have to push you to make a guess, please, Taylor. And we have a time limit, but We've only got 21 seconds to go. <laughs> You can't think of a single other NHL player. We locked in? We locked in. Spelling's awful, but please uh, let the listeners know. Cobble Shark. I, I actually don't know, but I'm going to go with Sagan. <laughs> so not Cobble Shark. Um, I haven't got Sagan. And I don't think he was a first rounder. If he got took first overall, I would have switched my computer. Well, not first overall, in the first round, I would have switched my computer off and gone home. Okay, moving on to question number three. Romeo Dunn. If Ryan was stranded on a desert island, what one item would he take with him? Ryan's in deep thought here. I feel like Ryan's going to think something quite practical here as opposed to a phone with a battery life of, a, of around an hour. If you'd need any inspiration, you'd have to watch, um, what's that film called, Castaway. Love that film, Wilson! <laughs> I think one thing I've learned uh, from Taylor today is that his imagination is not the best. Um, have you got an uh, answer locked in over there, Thomas? Millennial, though, isn't he? Millennial. I think we all are, but... <laughs> okay, Ryan's got his answer locked in. It's a little bit... Well, I don't even know if you'd quite be allowed, but... Romeo Dunn, you got an answer locked in? Snooze. You went with snooze? <laughs> <laughs> As I say, a practical uh, approach from Ryan. Not so practical from Romeo Dunn. No, no surprise there though. Okay, question number four. Romeo Dunn, what is Ryan's favourite ice rink to play in? We've let you off once for putting MK Ryan, but uh, please really think about this one. Well, one, thing for sh one thing's for sure, it's not going to be in Victor. <laughs> Romeo Dunn, is your answer locked in? Yeah. And answer's Peterborough. locked in here? Peterborough. He's gone with Peterborough? Yeah, I went with Peterborough. There's, uh, uh, 
Nice job. Nice Learned job. From his mistakes. Yeah. Um, how many points are they on, Will? Three. Yeah, three. They're on three As points. As everyone says in Peterborough, three. Three. Three it's points. Three. Everyone at home, three. Mark Leavers was good at um, correcting people on that, wasn't he, as well? Who? Mark Leavers. Old Man Rivers. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll move on to question number five and the final question. Again, just for Scott Robson. It's a 50 50 chance on this one. Romeo Dunn. Is Ryan a boob or a bum man? No hesitation from Romeo. Ryan's got his answer locked in. Romeo done? Bum. Gone bum. Ryan? Good lad, mate. You know me well. <laughs> bum. bum with a sticky out uh, smiley. I like that. Loves the emoji. Okay, so that's um, got you both up to four points up on the leaderboard. So, yeah, very respectable. I believe that won't put you in bottom place. So, like I say, to say that there's quite an age gap between you both, um, you should be proud of yourself. So how did you feel that went? Yeah, a lot better than expected. And we're not bottom, so... Yeah, really good. Well done, mate. Romeo? Yeah, I thought Thanks. it went better than expected, to be honest. So, yeah. Anything else? That's it, mate. Man of many words. You can't shut him up in the dressing room, though. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. So, that's it for this week's episode. Thanks for tuning in again. Please don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. At Go Phantoms. Thank you, William. For all the latest news, competitions, score updates and all things phantoms. So guys, there's only one thing left to do, is to wave out.